A bus that had been filled with schoolgirls lies in a wreck by the Western Highway. Hit by a truck and pushed down an embankment at Bacchus Marsh at 3.15 in the morning. Horrific for them, but just as horrific for their parents. I think it's every parent about to send their children off on a camp overnight, albeit for a longer term period. It's their worst nightmare. They were from years 9 to 12 and we had four staff members. The passengers were rushed to six different emergency departments across the state. Two girls and both drivers were seriously injured. I would have assumed someone would have passed away out of this entire tragedy. So they're all very fortunate people involved. An earlier crash had slowed traffic down on the highway. Police say that's what led to the truck rear-ending the charter bus. They've praised the conduct of the students. They were all wearing seatbelts, um, which has probably saved uh, having any fatalities. And I've got to say, a number of the injuries actually occurred from their release from the seats, um, obviously because the bus was upside down. They were heading to a NASA-run space camp. A parent of one of the students told the ABC this morning the long-awaited NASA space camp trip had been planned for two years and had been delayed due to the pandemic. It's unclear at this stage whether or not the students will be able to make it to the US later this week. There was one student who said that she um, didn't expect that she was going to experience zero gravity in the same way. Um, as she was on space camp in the first 24 hours. So there's lots of, there's still lots of people with humour. The school will open tomorrow despite the public holiday to offer counselling for staff and students. Laura Mayers, ABC News, Bacchus Marsh.